Hey everybody, it's Paulie here and today I'm going to be taking you through some tips on how to survive a horror movie. Now I know what you're thinking, when will you need these tips? Well, there may be a situation in your life that you're going to end up in a horror movie and you'll be thankful you've watched this video. And when you watch a horror movie, there's always some stupid person who ignores these set of rules and they end up dying. So the next time you're running through a woods from some dude with an axe, remember to follow these rules and your guts will not end up in this casserole. Rule number one is simple, avoid anywhere that's creepy. Derelict buildings, basements, old hospitals, cemeteries, and anywhere that's generally really creepy. Because if you go in there, you probably won't get back out. Rule number two, if you're lost and you end up finding a house and they let you in, and they tell you not to go into the basement, get the hell out of there. Because there's always one jackass who wants to go into that basement. And if you do go down there, there's a high possibility there's going to be a killer down there, or you get locked in there, or you're just going to end up dead. Rule number three, avoid all alcohol and drugs. You do not want to be running through a woods absolutely off your mind because you'll get lost, you'll end up breaking a bone, and you're just asking to be killed. Rule number four, no sex. This one's a hard one to follow, no pun intended, but if you have sex in a horror movie, you're just asking to be killed. In a horror movie, when you're having sex, your defences are down and that's when the killer is going to pounce on you and stab you and slash you up and throw your guts all up the walls. Rule number five is a no-brainer. Make sure the killer is dead. I don't care if you shot him 50 times, you have to make sure he's dead because they are trained to lower their heart rate and breathe into the fact that you think they're dead, but they're not. Keep stabbing them in the face until you know they're dead because if you don't and you run away, they're just going to find you and kill you. Rule number six, do not run upstairs. In horror movies, there's always one dumb bitch that runs upstairs and gets her ass killed. Unless you have flying abilities, there's no way of getting out of upstairs without breaking a bone or something. So make sure you run out the door and just get the hell out of the house if there's a killer in there. Rule number seven, do not run into creepy woods. The chance is the killer's gonna know where you're going and know the woods better than you and you'll just end up getting lost and killed. Number eight, it's simple, do not group up. Do not stick with your friends because it's every man for themselves. When someone falls down, you leave them there. It may be harsh, but if granny falls down, you just run. Don't, don't even look behind you, just, just run. She's gonna slow down the killer and you'll be hopefully on the next plane out of this damn country. Rule number nine, never say I'll be back because that is a dead man's phrase. As soon as you say that, you won't be back. Rule number 10, urban legends are true. So you best believe the crazy person who told you there's a killer person out there because they're going to be after you next. And finally, rule number 11. If you are in a Stephen King film, these rules do not comply to you as there's no chance of survival. So just go along for the ride. So that's how to survive a horror film. If there's any rules I missed out, please comment down below because I'd love to hear your rules on surviving a horror. watching, guys. Remember to like, favourite and subscribe. And I will see you next Thursday. Goodbye! Yeah.